guys welcome back to the Sammy Plum Bob channel and today we're going to continue on with the Sims 4 seasons okay so where we left off is we actually went camping or we tried to go camp camping and have a wonderful summer vacation but the funny thing is it was horrible it stormed the whole whole and I say the whole entire time that we tried to have a good time near the campfire so they actually spent their camping trip inside a tent for two days straight and let me tell you it was not a pleasant experience I mean well <laughs> to Lynn and Zachary if Bridget wasn't there it probably would have been a romantic and possibly cuddling experience but since Bridget was there it was it wasn't as pleasant because it wasn't as fun for Bridget nobody really had fun and it, it just all around turned out to be a nightmare a horrible 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 vacation and Bridget doesn't want to go camping again ever again she's even tense thinking about it because of that dang fire <laughs> she's like I don't ever want to go back mom that sucked but anyways to make up for that horrible, horrible, horrible vacation because she felt so bad because she wanted to make good memories with her. Um, both Zachary and Lynn had this idea of adopting a dog and he's in here actually barking in Lynn's bedroom right now. So that's what she's doing instead of getting ready for school. She's wondering what the heck is that noise? What is that? So, she's actually going to spend this day um, hanging out with that dog. We're going to take a vacation day from school and not go to school today because her parent or parents really I'm sorry Zachary you're not her dad her mom <laughs> actually told her she could stay home from school and enjoy the day with her new pupper. So, a little bit about this dog over here. Um, this dog is actually a replica of a real life dog that I once had, but unfortunately he did pass away in the month of June of this year. So I, I've wanted them to adopt Homer, which is, that's my dog's name, but I, I renamed him Homie for them. Um, I really wanted him to be a part of their family and I, I I guess I wasn't ready to put him in my game yet because just thinking about him still makes me makes me want to cry but um here he is he is in the game now and he's a part of his family and he was homeless and both Zachary and Lynn felt bad for him, so they got Esmeralda and Colt to look at him, gave him his shots. He seems like a healthy dog, and now he is he has a home now, and he's going to be Bridget's dog. So, Bridget, you better take good care of him. <sighs> but you, as you can possibly quite tell, she is in love with Homie, so... Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay. <laughs> so, um, it's kind of bittersweet to see him, like, barking and running around again. Because I really do miss my little, um, quote, little Homer guy. So, <laughs> okay. So, let's go ahead, click play, and see where this takes us. I'm actually going to make him a space in her bedroom. Because that's where he will mostly be, I hope. <laughs> So let's make him some space in here so that he would be comfortable. Also in the last part, Bridget actually made a friend and her name is Laura and I am so happy that they are friends. Yay! Oh my goodness. So I'm glad that she actually has a friend. Oh, oh! I think she's in love with little homie. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing what my dog used to do. Every time we let him outside, he would just take off running and run around and everything else, be a dog. He's doing exactly what Homer would do. <laughs> oh, go go be free, little boy. Go be free. You will clean all this up because I found this laying around the house. Little girl, clean up your mess. <laughs> Hold up. 
Okay, hello, Mr. Larry Do Doty. Oh, Lord. Okay, so <laughs> look who's walking the streets. It is Larry Doty. He doesn't seem too happy for some reason. That's her brother, by the way. Bridget's brother is just walking down the street. My job. A rose Aww. for you, he said. Ah. She loves it. Oh. It's like, how do you know I love roses? Woohoo! Romantic generosity. Giving the perfect romantic gift can only mean romance for both parties involved. <laughs> so they both are feeling it now. She's like, you're so sweet. And plus, I bet it didn't help that he has his shirt off. <laughs> That's probably why she's so smitten, easily smitten by him. Hold her hands and talk to her for a minute and have a heart to heart. And say, look, things are moving by very smoothly. Around this time is when I first met you. And this time last year, you have still shown the kindness that you have sh always shown me. And now... I feel like, I feel like you are the perfect woman, and I want you to know. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh. oh, she gave him a gift as well. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, that was nice of you. <laughs> and she was like, here, I'll give you something, too. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. But anyways, wait a minute. Let me read this. Lynn gave Zachary a gift along with a romantic message. Oh my god, you are my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Generous surprise. Lynn was so happy to get a gift recently from someone and is feeling pretty special right now. Giving spirit. Giving gifts feels great, but it feels even better when the Cypriot likes the gift. Feeling the love. Love is in the air and it's in the romantic gift just received. Oh my god. Zachary was so happy to get a gift recently for someone is feeling really special now. That note that you that note <laughs> I just melted. I just melted that note. Oh my goodness. Oh, you are my heart, my soul, my treasure, my today, my tomorrow, my forever, my everything. That is the sweetest thing in my life. That pretty much summed up what I was about to say that he's going to tell her. <laughs> so, let's actually go ahead and ask her to be your girlfriend. Hey, that was the sweetest God. thing I've ever read Bumble. in my life. Oh, Whitney. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's happening. It's really happening, you guys. Zachary just became the boyfriend of Lynn. Lynn just became the girlfriend of Zachary. So they are actually making it official, saying that they belong together. And I want y'all to officially have your first kiss now. So go ahead. <laughs> Tell her you are so in love. When you? <laughs> oh, <thank> you. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And then Keep offer another rose. You are my heart, my soul, my today, my tomorrow. You are my everything. <laughs> I'm literally crying. That is the sweetest thing. Sorry, I hit the mic, but that is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. I'm so happy for the both of them right about now. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, like he was going to try to tell her before I just got blown away. <laughs> I love him. I love him.
so much. So now, like I was trying to say, <clears throat> it was about around this time when she actually first met him and he was a new guy on the blog. She didn't really know who he was or um, didn't really know that much about him. But all she knew of him was is that he was a part of... <laughs> part of the garden gnomes that she that she's a part of that club too so you know Moira invited him because he was homeless and this was a whole year ago when they first met and he thought this would be the perfect moment to actually <laughs> ask her to be his and she they they both blew me away oh my god but Yay, so now they got love, and so does Bridget. Bridget's got love, too, because she's got homie in her life right now. So, I, 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 oh my god, I'm so in love with this family. <laughs> I'm so in love with this family. I never thought in a million years that um, the Homeless Challenge would continue on for the Seasons Challenge. And it still looks like that Larry Doty is still walking around outside my house. <sighs> He really, 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 really wants to see his little sister. And Lynn is protecting Bridget and doesn't really want that side of her family to enter her life yet. So, I don't know if she will ever allow Larry to see Bridget or not, but we will actually see. But he seems to be walking around the neighborhood trying to pro po quite possibly see Bridget and I don't know Larry we're just gonna have to see but oh my goodness okay I don't really want to click play because this is such a romantic moment and Hobie is just watching this romantic moment like ah uh, it makes me feel like Homer, Homer is really here watching it with me but anyways uh, <laughs> okay so let's click play so I don't start bawling my eyes out <laughs> Oh, Lord. Using this will get you into the best college, as it said. So you better use it. Yeah. That's what I'm really looking forward to for the next expansion is a freaking university expansion. Because that would make me happy. <laughs> I don't know if that's what everybody else wants, but that's what I want. Like, maybe like a private school. Like, just a whole all-around oh, touch-up on everything that you can do when it comes to education and maybe be like an education expansion pack or something for some reason bridget can't take them for a walk but that's okay you will you'll take them won't you zachary yeah after all getting a dog was your idea <laughs> let's check your badge progress i've noticed in the past i call it process <laughs> so check your badge progress and see if you actually gained another badge she needs to write two more songs and then she would be done with that and she needs to license those said songs as well she's out here just experimenting trying to get another badge and leveling up her mental skill i heard you and zachary started dating congratulations on adding a new boyfriend well thank you naomi oh okay like almost all pets homie can get explicitly obsessed about things around the house keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their unique interests so he is actually obsessed with the pool i heard you and zachary started dating congratulations on landing a new boyfriend thanks esmeralda everybody she was she's telling everybody zachary confessed he loves me i love him he's, he's mine i'm so happy Oh, yay! He's sleeping in here with her. Good boy! Good boy! You're doing exactly what I want you to do. Oh, yeah! Um, I've totally forgot all about this, but on um, August 16th, which was like four days ago, <laughs> there was actually an update for The Sims 4. And it fixed patches, and it also added new Caribbean themed stuff and I really wanted to add some of that stuff in this house plus it would give me an idea of how I want to paint the walls and I want to personalize it so I am actually going to go ahead before we do anything else and actually get some of that new stuff in our home and quite possibly go into create a sim and 
edit some of our looks that we got going on. So yeah, I will be right back after we get done editing. <laughs> I don't know if this table yeah. is new or not, but I don't remember seeing it, so I actually put it in my game, and the table that she built, I put in the kitchen. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but there it is. I might use it as like a buffet table or something whenever we have home-cooked meals, I mean grand meals and things like that. But the fans did come with a new update, and the update for this game, or for all this Caribbean stuff, is free. So, yeah, update your game and you will have it. Um, so, as you can tell, I put fans all over the place to circulate the air conditioning, because why not? I thought it would be neat to have it. And, um... So yeah, uh, the walls is new, the uh, um, coffee table is new, this plant is new, and these uh, chairs outside, I believe, are pretty dang new as well. Um, and also, as you can tell, there are different types of those walls, so I decorated it accordingly with each part of the house being a different kind except for you know the living room and kitchen so i just edited the way i want my ah. sims to look and unfortunately the new hairstyles that came did not match lynn at all but i am using the new makeup from the update so she is currently wearing that and huh. um is she Let's see. I love the new eyeshadow and lipstick. I think those are pretty good. Um, also, I did edit her hot wear outfit to match the new clothes that came out. So, uh, I want to go ahead and show off what I did for her hot wear outfit. Okay, so this is what I did. And I think she looks really, really cute in her new um, hot wear outfit, hot weather outfit. So, yeah, that's just pretty much what I did in cast because nothing else really matched my Sims too well. Give some food to homie. Uh, should a Bridget invite over a classmate, Laura? Okay. Look at him. <laughs> Break leaves. Oh, I have not seen that interaction yet to rake some leaves so we definitely need to rake leaves this year why don't you go ahead and do that hey he could rake the leaves yeah he wants to anyways ginger is calling uh why don't you answer it while you're at work why not so ginger is calling uh, lynn right now and she's talking to her and she said hey i've been trying to get a hold to you for days and lynn's like yeah i'm sorry it's just i had a lot going on and honestly i didn't mean to ignore you <laughs> what are you doing sleeping on the leaves look at him raking y'all look at him raking 
Just a raking. Just a raking. Raking leaves out of the pool. <laughs> oh lord, I remember doing that. Rake the leaves out of the pool. What's this? Morning. It's hard to see someone go. Huh? Hi, Lynn. I'm calling to let you know that Shanna Doan has passed away. I thought you might want to know. Oh. Shanna Doan just died. Uh, if y'all don't know who Shanna Doan is, that is actually one of the women that actually helped Lynn out. And she was a part of the Garden Gnomes. She... That's unfortunate. She is actually the very, 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 very first friend we've ever had in the Homeless Challenge. And sadly, she just passed away yesterday. So, <laughs> a lot of news has happened. Oh my lord, I'm going to pause the game for a second. <laughs> so that I can actually <laughs> tell what is going on. Okay, so what Ginger was trying to say to Lynn earlier when she called is that she was trying to get a hold of her for days she's like look something's about to happen and i need to know if i'm doing the right thing and lynn is like okay i'll answer the phone while i'm at work it's ginger calling again i already feel bad that i'm practically been ignoring her even though it wasn't intentional but anyways, she answered the phone and Ginger told Lynn that she is actually expecting a baby. What? She's pregnant. So, that's all she really wanted to say to Lynn is that, hey, I'm having a baby and I wanted to let you know that. And I'm wanting to throw a little shower for the baby. And I'm wanting to invite you and your family to the baby shower tomorrow. Um, are y'all going to be able to make it? And uh, Lynn's like, um, well, what time? I actually go to work at 2 o'clock tomorrow. And so I think she's going to start it a little bit earlier. She's actually going to start it at 10 o'clock i guess if i'm not mistaken so let's actually go ahead go on our calendar and figure this out what's this <gasps> the lottery purchase a lottery ticket Ooh, the lottery is happening tomorrow as well that's just so many things happening <gasps> yay young scientist complete so we got that done and let's actually collect it young scientist badge collect that badge girl Yay! Promoted to Unicorn Scout. Bronze Scouting Trophy. <gasps> she got a trophy, y'all. She actually got a trophy. Uh, okay. Uh, she has also received, you know, the trophy. She's a Unicorn Scout now. Let's see what that says. Uh, Bridget is really climbing the scouting ranks. While humbly polishing her bronze scouting trophy, she can work towards earning the silver scouting trophy at the next level of scouting. Next promotion, Pegasus Scout. She needs to earn three more scouting badges to become a Pegasus Scout. I'm going to stop this part here. And thank you all so much for watching. And I really hope you like this part. And I cannot wait until the next part to actually go on that baby shower at 10 o'clock in the morning and to figure out what the lottery is all about Ooh, maybe we'll become millionaires i don't know but <laughs> anyways again thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next part everybody have a great day